Hi guys, it's me, Indiani Jones, and I am going to be sharing some ideas for some white and gold shabby chic thrift flip decor. Let's get started. So I was lucky enough to find some really nice things at the thrift store and in the garbage. So these first two items I did find in the thrift store, but this last one I actually found in the garbage, this little, I guess, uh, planter. So let's get started with those roses. These were beautiful, but I think just a little too gaudy with all that gold. However, I do like a touch of gold in my shabby chic decor. So all I'm doing here is using some apple barrel white paint. It's not chalk paint, it's just regular acrylic paint. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it and just paint it all over. Now, I'll be honest here. I am using pretty much the same technique in most of these thrift flips. However, in this one, I did something a little different. What I did was I went over the rose part, and I didn't show that here, I'm sorry. Um, some of the edges I went over with some candle wax so that I can expose some of the, some of the gold afterwards. Now you can use candle wax or you can just like scrape off some of the paint or wipe off some of the paint while it's still wet. Uh, the candle wax technique I actually learned from Teresa of Our Green Acres. So you can use either way. But I think I use the candle wax technique as you'll see in a little bit. So all I'm doing is painting all of this gold and getting rid of it so you don't see it. And it does look very pretty all covered in white. However, I do feel that the gold just brings out those wonderful details of those leaves and the rose petals. It's just so pretty. And again, this is perfect to uh, use a scarf curtain. And look how pretty they look already. I mean, I think they look so much better than that gold. So I'm just gonna let this dry a little bit, not too much. I'm trying to remove some of the paint like puddled in the inside. Now I'm just wiping it down. And there you go, just wiping it down. And this gives it a very French country kind of look. I guess that's what we wanna call it, a shabby chic French country look. And I really do like this white and this gold technique, simply because it matches with every uh, color decor. Um, again, it's not farmhouse, but I do think it's very French country and so romantic. So this is going to be used in my bedroom as a, um, I guess, a curtain scarf holder uh, above my, uh, I guess, back door, um, screen door. What do you call them? Glass doors? Yes, I have a glass door, sliding glass door. So this is perfect because I can't really put a huge curtain back there, but this will just be delightful in my bedroom. And there you have it. I am happy to share that this is part of a very special collaboration called Summer Adventure Thrift Flip Collaboration with these three lovely ladies. I was so happy and privileged that they invited me to join in their collaboration. And there's nothing more fun in the summertime than to do some thrift flips. So please check out their videos in the links below and check out their channels for more wonderful thrift flip ideas. Next, I found this sconce, and I just, I mean, it's very pretty if you like the Tuscan style, but it doesn't really fit into my motif, and especially not in this collection of white and gold. So once again, I'm using the same technique, except this time I'm not, because there's no gold underneath, I'm not going to be wiping away some paint, I'm gonna be dry brushing some gold paint right above this lovely white paint. As I said before, because I'm trying to keep this all in the same collection, I'm pretty much using the same techniques for all of these decoration or decor, home decor items. Here I'm just dry brushing some of that gold paint. And again, this is from Folk Art, from the Plaid family of products. That's right, Plaid, I love to craft forever. Got some, got some brush. Does that happen to you? Getting some of those brush, um, I don't know, brush, brush bristles? stuck in the paint sometimes. I guess I got this from like Home Depot or something like that. But yeah, sometimes I get these brush bristles 
stuck in the paint and then you gotta just pull them out and stuff because then it looks nasty and you know when it's all dry and then you look up you're like oh dang there's a you know brush bristle stuck in my project doesn't look as elegant but I just love I, again I love this it looks like something worn out and French and I, I just really love this look um, very white very again you can use it in any room but this will probably end up in my bedroom. My bedroom is very shabby chic. One day, one day I'll show you guys my boudoir. I don't know. One day when I clean it up and I don't have baskets of clothes strewn all over the, you know. You know how it is, girls. You know how it is. I mean, especially if you live alone. I'm like, it's me and, and my son, Luke. I mean, who cares if I have baskets of laundry in my room? I mean, truly. Especially for pajamas, you know, nice clothes, yeah, I'll hang them up and stuff, but my pajamas and my shorts, it's, yeah, I just keep them in a basket by, by the bed. It's easy to access. Okay, maybe this is t TMI, but how many of you do that? Don't you leave your baskets out there for a while with the clothes and, you know, then when you empty them, then you, you just clean them again. Now here's a, a planter. This is the one I found in the garbage. My favorite place to find things in the garbage but I just thought it was so pretty but I just didn't like the colors look how pretty it is when it, you paint it white again if it was Tuscan if I had a Tuscan look in my home this would be perfect as it is but I want to put this in my boudoir somewhere I don't know what am I gonna use this for maybe um, maybe I'll use this in my bathroom maybe to store stuff I don't know I'll put flowers in there it would be nice as, yeah as a little planter I'll put some flowers and some greenery Ooh, some greenery would, be, greenery would be nice. That would look really pretty. Yeah, I'll put that on my dresser or something. Very cute. Anyway, I just like go on random rants. Haven't you noticed that when I do these audio, you know, what is this called? Voiceovers? Yeah, I, I just go on some random rants. I like that, random rants. Now, here I go again, dry brushing with the gold. It's very easy, very simple, very simple to do. And I forgot to show there was one more item that I actually had found in the garbage a while back and I just had it in my in my room but it didn't match the rest of my room so while I was doing this I said let me pull it out and take care of that as well but here let me just finish this little planter and it's gonna look just just fine and dandy oh I can also put letters in there that's a good idea too I can put letters in there Now this last item I had in my room, but again, it didn't match because it was black. It was like, it really stood out, you know, hanging on my wall. What I love about this is that this is a jewelry um, hanger. I don't know if you can tell, but you, you, you know, it's like a sconce that you nail up to the wall and then you just hang, you know, jewelry or long necklaces. And I have a lot of long necklaces, so it's really hard to just, you know, put them in a box or just hanging, hanging them anywhere else. It just doesn't make sense this way my jewelry actually becomes part of my room decor my pearls and all my shiny blingy things i can just add to this and i can put bracelets and necklaces and it just looks really really pretty um i'll show you later how it looks on the wall but yeah i just decided well i'm making a whole i like doing a whole collection i don't know if you guys have noticed this if i get a color scheme i just like to do a whole collection if it's you know wall hanging if it's you know somewhere to store you know like a little box or something like that i just en really enjoy doing a full collection so this is my white and gold collection and uh, i really hope that you enjoy these ideas and now when you see something in the garbage or in the thrift store and say well i don't like it remember you have the power to change it with just a little touch of crafting magic as i call it and here i am dry brushing this in the gold again and there you have it i have a full collection now to add to my bedroom and my bathroom my adjacent bathroom in my master room and again i really hope that you enjoyed these ideas i really enjoyed collaborating with my lovely friends and uh, i hope that i get a chance to collaborate with them again very very soon
Thank you once again for spending some time with me. And as I always say, stay safe, be kind. God bless each and every one of you. And remember to live the adventure. See you again soon.